Okay, so welcome to my videos. In these videos, I will share to you guys the tutorial how to overcome imbalanced data in Rapid Miner software. Okay, so before we get into the tutorial, I will recall a bit about what is imbalanced data and what we need to do the balancing data. Okay, so basically, imbalanced data refers to those types of data sets where the target class or the label has an uneven distribution of observation. So that's basically what the imbalanced data is. And why we need to balance the data? Because first, it can affect the performance, for example, like accuracy and else. And if the data is imbalanced, it can affect to the classification result, where later, the classification result will be more, I can say, leaning to the major class uh, than the minor class. So therefore, the data will be better if it's balanced. Okay, so in this case, I will use the smooth upsampling approach to balance the data. Although we are all know that there are so many approaches to overcome imbalanced data, such as oversampling, etc. But in this case, we will just use this mode upsampling approach. And if you look it up about the smart upsampling, this mode upsampling technique is based on the KNN methods, the K nearest neighbor method. You can just look it up for more details. And if you ask me what is the difference about the upsampling and the oversampling, basically the oversampling method has the principle principle of increasing. A random observation while the smart upsampling methods are uh, increasing the amount of minor class data so that it is equivalent to the main class by generating artificial data. So that's basically the difference about the upsampling and the oversampling. Okay, let's just get right into the tutorial in Rapid Miner. So to balancing the data to using this smooth upsampling operator we need to download the extension first. Extension itself is not different, or I can say it's the same thing as like package in R, or if you talk about Python, it's the same thing as library in Python. So extension in Rapid Manner is uh, something like library in Python, okay? So we need to download the operator toolbox extension to perform this mod upsampling uh, approach to balancing the data and if you ask me how to download this extension you can just go to the extension marketplace and then you can you can just search the operator toolbox operator toolbox extension and you can just download it right away and to download it, you can just uh, download, select for installation, and install the package, okay? So after you download it, to check, you can just see in the Manage extension. If you already download uh, the extension, you can see the operator toolbox in this Manage extension pop up, okay? So after that, I think I will show you guys the comparison before we balancing the data using the smart upsampling and after we balancing the data using the smart upsampling approach, okay? So the data I use in this case is uh, about drug, okay? Wait a minute. I will retrieve the data using the read GSV operator because the data itself is in GSV. And for the data, I download it from Kaggle course I will uh, put the link in the description and this is the data I will just go Dennis and because we haven't set the role we haven't set the label from the data I will use the set role operator for setting the label okay but because we will compare the before first, I will disable this operator and let's just put it aside. I 
I will set the drug to be the label and we'll see the data so this is the data drug become the label and we can see in statistics if we check the visualization using bar plot we can see the drug Y is so high while the drug C, drug A and drug B is I can say low okay so we can see from the bar plot that the data is imbalanced right it is obvious so we will just perform some classification algorithm before using the smooth up sampling we will uh, use the knn i think i will just go with knn algorithm and then for validation i will use the holdout validation or the split data the holdout i think i will go with 70 percent for training and 30 percent for testing okay and let's connect the training to the knn algorithm operator and for the testing as usual we will connect the to the apply apply model operator okay go to the u to the unlabeled connect the testing to the unlabeled uh, connector and then connect the model to model uh, connector okay and then we will see the accuracy by using the performance operator i'll just go with the classification one and we will just let me delete this first okay and then connect so we can see that before we balance the data using the smooth sampling the accuracy is 61.67 percent it is pretty low of course because i think uh, the data is not really good or maybe the knn algorithm is not really fit for the data we can uh, i think we can try another algorithm for example night fires or svm analysis but in this case i will just go with knn and this is the accuracy after that we will compare this the imbalanced data with the data that will balance with smooth up sampling okay we'll just connect this and this mod up sampling is based on knn right i already said it before and we can set the number of neighbors but the default is five we can set it like the range itself is from one until infinite and this is already the default setting uh, we will normalize the data we will equalize classes and now i will just go with the default setting and we will just go run it again and see we can see that the accuracy is increasing about 12 percent if i'm not wrong yeah in, from 61 to 730 7 to 31.17 percent so yeah we can conclude that this balancing data is will increase the performance right and it will be more good too for us because the data will be balanced in each class right so we can use this mode of sampling operator for uh, balancing the data in rapid miner okay so basically that's the tutorial how to use the uh, how to overcome the imbalance data in rapid miner software if you want to ask anything you can just comment it below and if you want to like it you can like it if you want to subscribe you can subscribe but yeah do anything you want okay that's pretty much it thank you for today thank you for watching my videos bye